the count is ongoing. Overseas ballots are still arriving from all corners of the state, uh, and they're also coming from provisional ballots, which will, that process will begin next week. Uh, my understanding is there could be as many as 100,000 outstanding provisional ballots, and it's my own personal belief that no results should be announced until the count is finalized. Prior to election day, um, just like Leader Corman, I think we all raise concerns over the current process in terms of some of the issues that were occurring with the Department of State, as well as with the court. Many of those concerns now, unfortunately, are proving to be valid. Problems and delays are coming to light, and problems that, quite frankly, could have been avoided had the Supreme Court simply followed the law as written. The first one was that despite the court's opinion, some counties allowed voters to remedy their ballots, their mail-in ballots, while others did not. So you've got disparate treatment of voters across the Commonwealth. Second, we've had an unprecedented number of provisional ballots. Provisional ballots, by their very nature, are people that had problems. Maybe they were not on the rolls, maybe they had requested a mail-in ballot and had never gotten it. But in any case, all of those ballots are individually reviewed and adjudicated. That will likely take some time. Third, our Department of State was not fully compliant with a United States Supreme Court decision to segregate the ballots. And in fact, she issued conflicting guidance to the counties, which resulted in the counties handling these ballots and the way that they were being tallied differently. In the last case, it was literally hours before the polls that the inconsistent guidance was issued, and it, cre it has unfortunately created chaos and confusion for many of our county officials. And fourth, the party election representatives were not permitted to witness all of the canvassing and the pre-canvassing actions in the Pennsylvania taking place here in this Commonwealth. That's a clear violation of the law. Our election process must be open and transparent to the public. Anything but complete transparency diminishes the public's faith in our current system of government and unfortunately allows them to question the results. The source of all of these ongoing problems, in my opinion, rests solely on the actions of our state Supreme Court. Our law as written, which we modified four times in the last 18 months, had strong bipartisan support, signature of the governor, in all of those cases, that law as written has been upheld. Any points of confusion have come solely from the additions that the court made. The court's actions, some believed, were in violation of the federal constitution. That is currently being litigated and, on, and that is ongoing. To ensure that the election process can be verified as accurate and without consideration of who wins the presidential race, the whole way down to the state house races at our level, I'm calling on Governor Wolf to produce a full audit of the 2020 election process. This is not unusual. It's the very same thing that we did in terms of the primary election. We've been actively managing the changes in our voting laws by collecting data and making decisions. House Bill 2626 was a direct result of that. And to the extent that we're made aware of any misconduct, we would act consistent to uphold the law to make sure that every legal vote is in fact counted here in Pennsylvania. No candidate, regardless of their party and at any level, should win because of misconduct or mismanagement. I urge Governor Wolf to begin this audit immediately so that all Pennsylvanians and the rest of the world can have faith in our election process.